Hello, Kevin Richards here with Thomas All Things Automotive. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful 2014 Ford F-150 Crew Cab XLT, uh, 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine with the uh, Chrome Pack. Uh, really a sharp looking truck. You get all kinds of nice options. I'll go over those. First of all, with the Chrome Pack, you get a uh, upgraded grill. You can see there's additional louvers in between these two crossbars here that really let you know that it is the chrome package. Also, these uh, tow hooks down here are chrome plated. Uh, still have the chrome grill surround, the chrome lower valiance. You've got a uh, halogen headlamp. You've got an integrated halogen fog lamp there. Uh, we'll continue around to the side, zoom in on the wheel. Next part of the chrome package to go from a 17 inch to an upgraded multi spoke 18 inch chrome plated wheel. Do have a little scuff on that wheel right there. Um, you got a nice Goodyear Wrangler tires here, pretty much brand new. I'm going to say 9, 10, 30 seconds. Excellent tread on these tires. They've obviously just been put on, uh, so you pretty much have new tires. Also, you have a nice resurfaced rotor and a very thick brake pad. It's one thing we pride ourselves here at Thomas is we do a uh, used car mechanical check report on all our vehicles signed by the mechanic that does the inspection. You can find that report located in the glove box of all our vehicles. Actually, I'm going to open this one up. I think it is right here. So I can show you guys. As you can see there, uh, in this particular uh, situation, the mechanic has signed off and dated it. He has went through. I said 9, 10, 30 seconds. I was dead on that tire depth. As you can see, they're all 10s. Brakes are brand new. We just put those on all the way around, front and rear. So you got brand new brakes, brand new tires all the way around on this vehicle. Everything has been checked and signed off. Even the coolant still cools to a negative 40 degrees. So pretty much like new. Uh, we also have, looks like there's a window sticker in here from when this vehicle was originally new. We got the owner's books. Uh, looks like we have two keys. Um, it looks like it has remote start, which we're gonna check to make sure it works here a little bit later. But uh, what more can you ask for in a used vehicle? Um, continuing on with the inside, as you can see, you have a 40-20, uh, 40 40 fold down center con console uh, split front bench seat. Uh, manual adjustment on the passenger side here. It's a stone, light stone cloth interior with a dark charcoal carpeting. Um, so uh, you can actually put six uh, occupants up front here if you need to. Um, gonna go ahead and shut this door. I wanna show you a couple other things of the chrome pack before we get into the rear area. Uh, you get chrome door handle covers. You also get the five inch uh, door to door, full body length Ford chrome step bars. Now, when I open up this door, uh, because it is the crew cab model, you can see you have all kinds of space back there. Uh, you also can see there's all weather mats with this particular truck, which is another nice feature to keep it clean and nice. Doors open nice and wide, easy to get in and out of, plenty of leg, hip, and shoulder room. And again, three more people can fit in the back. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, we do have vent shades on this car truck as well. It's very well accessorized. Continue our way around to the back. Again, just to show you, like we just showed on the mechanical report, brand new Goodyear Wrangler tires, nice, no scuffs on this wheel, 18 inch chrome wheel. Now this is the 145 inch wheelbase, so it is the five and a half foot bed, shorter bed back here. But one thing I really want to point out is we have the Ford factory hard to know cover right on this truck. We also have a Line-X spray and bed liner, as you can tell by that uh, uh, decal right there. Uh, but when we come around to the back, before I let you see that bed liner, I do want to show you, you do have a, a rear camera here. You do have the ultrasound uh, uh, parking aid. You do have the class three tow hitch with the integrated wiring. So all of that is there as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually lift this up for you and bring this down. So you can see again, really nice hard fiberglass to no cover. It's actually got LED lights. If I pull this back right there in the lid, as you can see, spray in line X liner all the way down, even on the inside part of this bed, um, you know, to protect it. Uh, really just nice, pretty much anything you would think that you might want to put on a truck has already been installed on this accessory wise. So it really makes it nice. Also this to no cover works, uh, locks with this key. So there's no separate key to lock the tonneau cover, your, your initial key will do it all. And that's because it was the Ford, the, uh, Ford tonneau cover. Um, we're gonna go ahead here and just show you the rear tire as well. Primarily just show you again, brand new, um, you know, Goodyear matching. Also a nice scuff free wheel there on that side. Go ahead and open up the, uh, the rear here on the driver's side, just to show you it's like the passenger side for you of any rips, tears or rotors. Previous owner was not a smoker. 
so it smells good in there. Um, also, I like to show people the combo lock here on the Fords. Gives you the ability to leave your key in the car, leave the engine running, lock the car up if you want to keep it uh, temperature controlled. Uh, gives you a nice feature there as well. Now on the driver's side, uh, one thing you'll notice different from the passenger side, you do have a power seat adjuster there on the driver's side, which is nice. Um, and there's tons of other equipment on this truck. I'm just going to have to show you here. Uh, I like to go over the controls and the layouts. Before I get into the door switches, I, I like to show people this does have power adjustable pedals. Uh, that button is right there on the side. It's hard to see once I get up in the truck. And uh, now we'll move on to the, the window switches, the door lock switches, and the power mirror switches right there on the door. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start. Actually, I'll tell you what I want to do before I jump up in there. Let's check this remote start out. Let's see if it works and see how it works. Now with Ford, what you need to do is you need to lock the vehicle. It'll chirp, it'll lock the lights. And then once it's locked, we're gonna press this button two times and we're gonna see if the remote start works. It may not, and it does not seem like it is. So in this case, we may just have a key fob that says it has remote start, but the vehicle may not be. We'll give it one more try just to see. Oh, it was operator error, operator error. But as you can see, I thought it did have it, but I didn't want to lead you guys astray. So as you can see, it does have the uh, remote start ability. So now that the, uh, the engine is running, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the doors and let myself in. And we'll just come up here and I'll show you uh, a couple of things to uh, on the vehicle. Of course, it's telling me because we used the remote start to insert the key and turn it to the on position, which I did there and now I can kind of go down through some of the options. Also wanted to show you the miles on this truck. As you can see, it's extremely low miles. Um, it's showing, actually, let me go back here a second. And okay, you're showing uh, 13,266 miles, so extremely low miles on this vehicle. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and reset the tripometer there real quick. And as you can see, as with this control pad, they can look at fuel economy. I can change the gauge mode. I can download apps, change settings, driver information settings. That's all being controlled with this control pad right here on the left and confirmed with the button on the middle. Um, below that is where your cruise control settings are. To the right of that is where you have your volume controls on your steering wheel as well as your voice activated sync or Bluetooth. Uh, controls um, to the left here is where your headlamp control is um, your fog lights uh, also are on this switch your dimmer switch for your interior is right there I already went over the power pedals you have two stem switches on this side with your intermittent wiper washers your high beams your turn signals then you have your column shifter over here with your tow haul mode and your manual control and your shift points um, your electronic shift on the fly transfer case is to the right of that your Ford integrated trailer brake control is down here. Uh, standard radio, AM, FM, satellite radio with a single disc CD up above. Down below here is where you have your climate control as well as other audio control buttons. Uh, you have a 12 volt power supply right there. Um, now inside this console right now we have it folded down you have two large cup holders and a nice little area there to keep some of your belongings so that's kind of a rundown of the uh, interior of this vehicle uh, one last thing i wanted to tell you is at the very bottom you have yet again another 12 volt power supply that's also where you'll have if you can see it's a little dark down there but your usb uh input and your audio line in that is all down there in the uh, sink compartment. So uh, let me jump out here and show you the uh, EcoBoost engine. Go ahead and pop the hood here. And uh, I want to let you see, uh, it's a turbocharged six-cylinder engine. Uh, it's very fuel efficient. Um, open that up for you. Uh, very fuel efficient, actually gets more horsepower and torque by a slight amount than the 5.0 liter V8. So you're not going to compromise any performance, but you get the increased efficiency. It does have the uh, trailer uh, control, so you do have the auxiliary transmission cooler here as well. It's free of any exhaust leaks or fluid leaks, you see no battery corrosion. Looks like a brand new truck underneath. Obviously it's very low mileage, but uh, just wanted to go ahead and show you that. So. Anyway, let me shut this truck off.
in the next portion of this video, I'm just going to go around and point out any minor imperfections the vehicle may have. It is a 14. We would expect it to have some. I can't tell you it's a one owner. It has a clean Carfax. It doesn't show any signs of any prior paint or body work. All the body lines are nice and straight and clean. There's no dents at all in that fender or door area. I don't notice any chips or scratches either. Continue our way back here. Don't notice anything on the side there. It looks pretty good. Let's go to the tailgate area. We have a little chip there in the center. I uh, don't see any dings there on the bumper either. It looks good. Continue around to the driver's side here. I'd like to find one imperfection so you guys know I am looking. But I tell you, so far so good. That's just some lint. Really a super clean truck right here. Fully accessorized. Low miles. Excellent condition. It's a little chip right there on the door. There's actually a little scrape right there as well. So we did find a couple. Haven't found a dent yet though. It really looks good, guys. Let's look across the front here and see if we can find a couple little stone chips. Usually I can always count on the front to give me a couple little blemishes. Up here on the hood, we got a few as well. But really, that's it. Um, I didn't really notice a dent on the truck. A um, couple little scratches, couple little stone chips. But really, when you look at it, for the miles, the accessories, all Ford factory accessories, by the way, um, the condition of the vehicle, the brand new tires, the brand new brakes, um, you know, the preferred engine, uh, what most people are looking for in their Fords is the EcoBoost. Uh, I really don't think this truck will stay here long at all. Uh, it also looks sharp with the chrome appearance package as well. So um, if you're interested, don't hesitate. Give us a call at 717-485-4224. Or look us up on the web at www.thomasata.com. One final thing before I close out the video. This vehicle does have the remainder of Ford's comprehensive 336 warranty as well as their uh, five-year 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. So you will get that transferred to the next owner and you can buy this car with confidence. Again, my name is Kevin Richards. I appreciate your time watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.